take it you got Tonight's the night when you finally know If you're winning this week's Winterio So now get ready for the draw show fun While hundreds of thousands of prizes are won Can't you feel the luck in the air Winterio winners everywhere Good evening and welcome to a very special Winterio draw. I'm Faye Dance. I'm Greg Beresford. It's the first Winterio of the 90s and we're proud to be in Sault Ste. Marie. Thank you very much, Sault Ste. Marie, and thank you for making us feel so very welcome tonight. And our host this evening at the 1990 Labatt Briar, which is the Canadian Men's Curling Championship, and that will take place in the Sioux this March. That's a very special event, but Sault Ste. Marie is a special city. It's one that attracts a great many visitors all year round, but especially during the last week of January. You see visitors come here to be part of Bon Sioux, and it is one of the largest winter carnivals in North America. In fact, by 1991, Sault Ste. Marie will be the official home of the Ontario Lottery Corporation. It'll be their new home, and uh, actually, I will always remember Sault Ste. Marie because this was my very first Winterio draw here on October the 2nd, 1975. So it's entirely fitting, Faye, that uh, Sault Ste. Marie should be the location of our latest tra last traveling draw show. We're glad uh, everybody could be here to start and help us out. Well, we're going to tell you more about the pretty city of Sault Ste. Marie, the 1990 Labatt Briar a little later on in the show, and we have some special features for you this evening and some special guests. Don't go away. Watch the show. Uh, right now, let's get started. All right. These are the six machines that will select the winning numbers. Each machine will be loaded with ten solid India rubber balls numbered from zero to nine. And guess what? Any ball, therefore any digit, could fall from the machines, and that means that any ticket could make you a winner tonight. We'll also draw for some super prizes. Not only do we have the usual five draws, but don't forget the windfall. And that means a total of over 168,000 prizes valued at more than $1.5 million. Well, Faye, okay. I'm heading for the audience one more time. All right, while you do that, Greg, I would um, like to ask our three assistants to come out and start loading the machines for us. We have Steve, Sheila, and Trish and Clive to do that, of course, followed by our Montreal Trust Officer who will be supervising the loading of the machines as well as every one of tonight's draws. Tonight we welcome back Fanny Lemessure of the Toronto office and she will also officially record the winning numbers for each of tonight's draws. Thank you, Fanny. It's always good to have you with us, even on the last draw. All right, all the machines are ready for the first draw. It's simply a three-digit number. It's worth $10, so it's an easy way to start. And that means we have to have three machines rolling, of course. They are. Greg, we would like to... Uh, actually, we know this uh, beautiful woman. Well, Faye, I think the thing that makes the job special is the people you work with. And when the people are special, then it's a lot of fun. I want to... Not that she needs to be introduced, but introduce our television audience once again to the lady who has helped us so capably many times on Winterios and Million Dollar Sweep shows, Pam Henry. Nice to see you. Nice to see you back. Oh, thanks, Greg. It's great to be here. It's been so much fun for me, you know, coming on occasionally for the last six years from time to time. So to be here for the very last show is just, I'm having a great time. And what will you do now? What are you doing now? I'm a teacher now. Yeah, I'm teaching and, and I love that. It's going really well, so that's what I'm doing. And best of luck, and thank Thanks, you once Greg. more. Okay. Thank uh, you, you know what to do here, I think, that's don't you? I do. I think I know. Thank you, Pam, for pushing the button, and also thank you for always being there when we needed you. All right, this is simply a three-digit number. It's worth $10, and we have two digits, three digits down. First of all, Marina holds up a two. Following the two, it is a five. And the third digit is a four. So if you have two, five, four in that order on your ticket, then you have just won $10. And there are four positions in which these three digits could appear, so check your ticket number carefully. All right, Marina, we will ask you to reload the machines for the next draw. But as part of a traveling live television show, there are 
a lot of memories surrounding Winterio, and let's see if you can recall those memories from the past 15 years. From a humble beginning on May the 15th, 1975, Winterio, the Ontario Lottery Corporation's traveling live lottery show, has provided our players with draws, entertainment, and province-wide information for almost 15 years. You know, during those years, this traveling road show has put in almost three quarters of a million kilometers. And we broadcast from some really challenging locations. A cave in Science North, the Chichimun Ferry, and even a barn. Along the way, we've met a lot of interesting people and made some very special friends. Winterio has changed a lot over the course of 15 years. Our themes, the way we look, and even the way we present our winning numbers. And of course, our game has undergone many changes to reflect the wishes of our players who have supported us all the way. And as we look to the future, the head office moved to Sault Ste. Marie and the introduction of new lottery games. We look forward to your continued support. As Winterio moves into a new decade, we'd like you to stay involved, helping us bring you lottery information in the best possible way. We've enjoyed being a part of Winterio and look forward to the exciting future. Keeping in mind that, Together, we really can make good things happen. Well, Greg and I are very proud to be part of Winterio, and we certainly enjoyed all of the places that we had the pleasure of visiting. Right now, we'd like to move to the next draw. It's a four-digit number, and it's worth $100. And all you have to do is match four consecutive digits. So, let's have four machines rolling. They are... We're back to Greg. Well, Faye, we've often said that Ontario's lotteries have touched virtually everyone's lives in some positive ways. And uh, this gentleman is Lloyd Gray, and it has even touched his life. You know someone who's now working in Sault Ste. Marie with the lottery, right? That's my son. What's he doing? In the accounting department. Good, good stuff. We look very much forward to being in Sault Ste. Marie. Thank you, Lloyd. And this is the $100 draw where we're waiting. I would just like to say hello to a very good friend of mine who is in the hospital, Toronto Western Hospital. Mr. Don Burroughs is recovering from surgery, so we wish you a really quick recovery, Don. And this is a four-digit $100 number. We're just waiting for one more ball to drop to complete it. We have three down. There it is. We have a three. Next to the three, it is a seven. And a zero. From there we go to a two. So if you have three, seven, zero, two in that order on your ticket, that makes you a $100 winner. And there are three ways these four winning digits could appear. All right, Myrna, we will ask you to load the machines again for the $1,000 draw. Tonight, we've already had over 12,000 possible winners, but um, don't give up if you haven't won yet, because we certainly have a lot more prizes and much more from Sault Ste. Marie right after these quick commercial messages. So stay with us.